Good day everyone! So we are now in the chapter 3 of our um, subject, Mathematics in the Modern World, which is Problem Solving in Mathematics. Okay, so problem. Um, there are lots of kinds of problems that we experience in our daily lives. It can be problems about family, friends, about academic, health, mental problems, and others. So we, as an individual, are not exempted to challenges in life because how can we grow as a person if we don't experience having or solving problems, right? And I believe that problems are part of our lives already. We, co we can go far from problems. So in this chapter, we'll be learning about problems and mathematical problems. So, here are the learning objectives of this chapter. So, through an online discussion and online activities, uh, you should be able to define the terms and concepts in problem solving. Next is, okay. use the four steps of polya in problem solving. So, we'll be le learning about um, the four steps of polya in solving a problem and apply the making a table strategy in solving real life problems. So, we'll be learning about this. So, now um, let us define problem. So, what is problem? It is a question that um, motivates a person to search for a solution. Next, it implies that one wants or needs to solve a problem. Next, one has to search for a way to find a solution. In short, if there's a problem, there must be a solution. So, we can't let problems stay as problem. Alright? We have to look for a solution for that specific problem. And example, um, if we don't have food in our din dining table, uh, what should we do? Of course, we have to look for food by buying or cooking food so that uh, our problem will be solved. And I, I have said, look for a solution for your own problems. So that is the purpose of having a problem, to search for a solution. Okay. So, um, there are a lot of kinds of problems. So, as I have said a while back, I gave examples of real-life problems. And in fact, in all aspects of our lives, we experience problems. Either physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, and many other aspects in our lives. So, those are examples of real-life problems. And I believe almost all of us um, experience these kinds of problems. And, okay, so what is mathematical problem? <clears throat> it is a statement requiring a solution. So, as I have said a while back, if there's a problem, there must be a solution. There goes with mathematical problem. And usually by means of a mathematical operation or geometric construction. And mathematical operations are the f what our what are our four fundamental operations. Uh, those are the MDAS or multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And also with the use of formulas. And when we say geometrical construction, this is with the use of angles, lines, shapes, polygons, and other geometric figures. So, um, geometric construction. We'll be learning about this. Uh, about geometric figures in our chapter five of five, I think, of this subject. So, uh, math problems are solved through math operations and or geometric constructions. So here are some questions about uh, uh, about problems. So what is the solution to this problem? So, maybe if you do have problem, you'll be asking this. Ano nga bang mga solusyon na dapat kong gawin para masolve ko tong problema ito? And did you use a strategy to solve this problem? Of course, we have our own strategies in 
um, solving our own problems, right? Same with mathematical problems. We use strategies. We use the four fundamental operations of mathematics so we can come up to solving our problem. And can this problem be solved also using strategies? Yes, it is possible. It is by what? Tr uh, problem solving. So, what is problem solving? It is finding solutions. <coughs> And not just answers to problems. So, uh, siguro mga high school kayo is you, your teacher are requiring you to um, show your solutions, not just your answers in a mathematical problem, right? Right? Kasi dyan namin makikita kung talagang nag-solve kayo or kung talagang ginawa nyo yung um, solving a problem in math mathematics. So, that's why, ang sabi dito, hindi lang tayo, ang problem solving is, is hindi lang pagpapakita ng answers, kundi we show also our solutions. Okay, so problem, if there's a problem, there must be a solution or there should be a solution. And, ang <coughs> bilis, in problem solving, so if there's a problem, Ito, ang kailangan dito para makuha natin yung solusyon ay method plus answer. So, we are going to use strategies or different methods for us to answer our problem. Wait. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, here, problem. Um, if we find for the solution, we have to use method. And of course, the answer. Okay. What not ang bilis? So here is George Paul, yeah? Um, he is a mathematician and he has to make a study about problem solving. He is a well known mathematician, defines problem solving as an act to find a way out of difficulty, find a way around an obstacle. Find a way where none is known, attain a desired end that is not immediately attained by direct means. So, um, here are four approaches to problem solving by George Polya. So, first is understand the problem. Next, <laughs> uh, devise a plan. Next, carry out a plan. Next is you have to check and extend or check your answer so step one understand the problem step two devise a plan uh, in devising a plan we have a lot of strategies here um, carry out a plan next is check and extend these are the uh, polyas problem solving strategy so understanding a problem in understanding a problem of course you have to understand the problem next determine the unknown so tingnan natin kung ano yung mga uh, <clears throat> kailangan nating hanapin and next is determine the given so what are the given for an example um, convert five dollars to peso so the given for that is five dollars and next identify the condition so in understanding the problem we have to look or identify for uh, some conditions <clears throat> okay next is devising a plan in devising a plan uh, find the connection between the data and the unknown so my connection basila like yung example natin na $5 to peso, choose an appropriate strategy that can be used to solve the problem. So, here are some strategies of devising a plan. Number one is making a table, which will be, we will be discussing later. And there will be an activity about this. Next is inductive and deductive reasoning dito. Um, I discuss din natin ito, making an illustration, eliminating possibilities, and some others. So, maraming mga strategies na pwede natin gamitin in solving a problem. So, in devising a plan, we have to consider this um, different strategies. Alright? So, next is <coughs> carrying out a plan. 
So here we have to solve na ba the problem. Solve the problem by applying your plan and strategy. So looking back, dito na yung checking. Examine the solution. Um, check your answers. Derive again the solution. Okay. So in checking, we have to examine, check your answer, or derive again the solution. So kahit saan dito is pwede natin gamitin in checking the or our answers. Okay. So let us proceed to making a table strategy. Ito yung um, one strategy in devising a plan. Okay, what is the uh, making a table strategy? Make a table reflecting the data in the problem. So, we are going to make a table <coughs> na um, yun ang gagamitin natin na strategy for us to solve the specific problem. Okay? Next is, if done in an orderly way, it can be used to look for patterns and emerge in the problem which in turn can lead to a solution. Okay, so in making a table strategy, um, this can be our pattern. So, pwede natin gamitin ito as our pattern for us to come up with the solution. Or that can lead us to our correct answer and solution. So, that is making a table strategy. So, here is example number one. Um, here is a real life problem so i can say this is a real life problem because of course um <clears throat> this really happens in uh in someone's lives okay so ayesha is offered an afternoon babysitting job that will last for 10 days all right babysitting for 10 days the parents who wants to hire the parents who want to hire her offers two plans for payment so there are two kinds of plans <coughs> or <coughs> that they can they may pay to ayesha okay which payment should ayesha accept so here is offer one they offered her a single 1500 pesos for 10 days so approximately that is uh, 150 pesos a day. So, yun lang yung kanyang salary. <coughs> Next is, pay for the first day would be 5 pesos. Then, each day thereafter, the total amount of pay would be doubled. Okay? So, yung first day daw niya is 5 pesos. Pero, yung susunod, is ma magiging doble ng 5 pesos, which is 10 pesos. And then, yung ikatird day niya, it will become 20 pesos. And so on, hanggang sa matapos ang 10 days. So, ano, saan dito ang um, <coughs> ia-accept ni Ayesha? Saan kaya dito yung offer 1 or offer 2? How about you, class? So, let's find out. Um, we are going to use making a table strategy. So, here is the solution. Step 1, understanding the problem. We have to understand the problem. So, the given is 10 days babysitting job for Ayesha. And uh, they have offered her two plans offered by the parents. Sorry, done that you offered. Okay, so here are the conditions. <clears throat> A single pay, 1,500 pesos for 10 days work. And pay for the first day would be 5 pesos. Then each day thereafter, uh, the total amount of pay would be doubled. So, ang ano natin is the total pay for 10 days under plan 2 or yung offer 2. Ang gagamitin natin uh, uh, condition dito is offer 2 or yung plan 2. So, we could use the uh, making a table strategy. Kasi kapag ka yung offer 1 ng ang ating... Uh, pipiliin dito, <coughs> wala na. Solve na ang problema. So, um, we have to look for the solution of offer 2. Okay? Next. 
So, step 2, we have to devise a plan. So, ang gagamitin natin is making a table.